Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we are getting three three marker challenges and I know a lot of three marker challenges have been going up lately but I actually did this picture a super long time ago and I didn't actually remember that I had it until I saw everyone else putting up three marker challenges and I was like, hey, I remember that. So <laughs> it kind of jogged my memory to put this up. Now what happened was a long time ago I had a live stream. I don't remember what I was doing in the live stream but I think it was line art and I became really bored with doing line art all night and I decided to kind of doodle towards the end of the live stream and what I thought about doing was a three marker challenge because it's simple and it's fun and it's kind of like a relaxing thing to do because you only have three markers and it doesn't really matter what you make it's just kind of for fun so that's what I decided to do at the end of my live stream and you'll see that I have the bunny girl already done on the upper left and that was because it was something that I did before the live stream I don't know if it was like directly before I think it was like a few days before because I was just trying to like do something for fun um, but this paper that I'm using is the render no show through sketchbook which is something I did a review on I'll post the link below or like in this video so you can click on the annotation to it if you want to review it is a sketchbook where no matter how much blending you do and how much ink you lay down it does not bleed through to the other side of the paper which I find absolutely amazing and I use this book to kind of do like little concepty things or like if I want to try out like colors in the sky to see if I want to put that into my final drawing I'll just doodle it out in this book so it's kind of like just the I'm going to try something weird book and I just decided to do a lot of little three marker challenges so this video you get three there are technically four on this page but you get to see me make three of them and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the bunny girl the three colors for the bunny girl was V91 R11 RV06. So that one was a pale violet, a reddy, reddish pink, like pale, pale red, almost looks like skin color red. And then RV6, which is a bright, really like a hot pink almost, but like with a tinge of purple to it. And those were the colors that I got for the rabbit. What I ended up doing was for all four pictures, I just used the Copics directly. And then I had this cheap breast cancer awareness pen that I have. And then I put down that ink afterwards because if I put down that pen first, it would have smeared. So I just kind of used that to detail everything once I was done with the markers. So the next one, which is the first one you see in this video, is Antler Girl. I just made that name up. Antler Girl is RV000, R17, and then what looks like E29, because I can't really see it because the brown is so dark, but RV000 is like a pale pink, R17 is like a little bit of an orangey red, and then the E29 is a deep warm brown so those with those colors I kind of thought like cherry blossoms and then I always like those pictures where the girls have I want to say antlers but they're not really it's like kind of like branches or whatever that the girls hair is hanging from so I was just like I'm gonna give her branch branchlers or branch branch antlers I don't know so that's kind of what I did just for funsies and she's like oh she's like looking up into the sky so that was the thought behind that one so the third one and the second one to be seen is like sir fish and he was well i got the colors yr16 which is a lighter orange than just orange um i guess it's like a little bit I don't know how to explain what it is. It's less vibrant. Um, I got B93, which is a light blue. And I got B24, which is like a mid-tone sort of just blue. 
And with these colors, after I pick the colors out, the chat would be like, oh, do this, do that. They said do a mermaid, I believe. And I was like, there's so many mermaids around and I don't feel like doing a mermaid. So I just compromised and I did a fish. I guess a fish with like human characteristics because he is wearing a top hat and he does have a monocle and he does have like a little bubble which is, I guess, like an underwater bubble, but also a speech bubble. It says, glub, glub, good sir. And I decided to make a clownfish because I had the orange. And how I made the dark stripes was I combined the Y, R, or the orange with the blue. And because they're opposing colors on the color wheel, it creates a brown. So that's like a fourth color that I had, uh, I guess, access to, which is cool because I don't normally have contradicting colors when they do these challenges and I don't know why or even like I have a really difficult time making colors out of the colors that I get that are just like a whole different color because I feel like the ones on the left were like really pink and like red or pink and pink and it's just they go together too well but having the orange and the blue being opposing really made it so I had an extra color in the lot that I wouldn't have normally had. So we have Mr. Clownfish here. And then on the bottom right, I made an ice elf. And the colors I picked for this one were B60, B2, BG18. So the B60 is kind of like a pale, almost gray or lavender blue. And then the B2 is like a blue blue. And then the BG18 is kind of like a greenish blue, but it's dark. So <clears throat> those are the three colors. And chat said that I should make an elf. And then someone else in chat said that make the character have cotton candy. So I kind of did both. And then I put the little elf in a parka and I put like a little kind of crystal cavern, like icicle cavern behind her. And this was actually the inspiration for a character that I am trying to design just for fun. And she, I took out the elf idea and replaced it with unicorn. So she's kind of like a unicorn ice character. And I changed up like the colors and stuff, but it's it's going to be a cute little thing because she's going to be in with my other character Gelato's world, so it's gonna be like it's gonna make sense, you guys. Anyway, she's gonna be fun to draw because she comes with a little side companion character, so that'll be fun. Yeah, so that was the inspiration for another character that you'll, you're going to be seeing somewhat soon in the future. Um, but I still haven't set, I am not like really set on a design. I think I kind of have most of the character worked out, but I want to carefully pick the eye color and the hair color and the skin color because I think that, that the hair design and everything that I have is like what I want, but I wanna make sure the colors are right for what I want. So I should probably doodle in my uh, render sketchbook and try to figure out what colors I want for her, but yeah. So that one was fun. Out of all of them, I would say that the elf girl was my favorite. Well, obviously, because I ended up making an actual character <laughs> because of it, but yeah, I had a lot of fun in that live stream. And I was super happy that people would stay up long enough to actually see this part of it because like people really hung in there for a long time and it's always nice to spend time with you guys. So thanks for coming and thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope that you like these three, three marker challenges. They were just for fun. So I'll probably actually do another three marker challenge uh, because they're so much fun, but I'll actually draw out a legit picture and not do a doodle next time. Um, but yeah. I'm so happy! Inktober's over! And I'm putting up my next video 
early next week, so you'll you'll be seeing the final video, which has 10 speed paints in it. Oh my god. And then I'm done. I'm done with Inktober. And to me, that's considered another challenge. So whenever I'm done with the videos, I'm going to do a whole recap uh, sort of video where I, I talk about Inktober and like my thoughts on it and stuff. So yeah, there's gonna be another video after the final 10 speed paints, but I feel like I've accomplished a monumental challenge. It was torture, but also like really fun torture. If you have nothing else to do aside from that, I'm sure it would be fun, but I had to do that and like Patreon and other things and then it just became like torment. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. This video has been going on way too long. And I'll talk to you guys next week for another art video. Not really sure what you're getting on Friday, but I guess I'll figure it out. Alright guys, take care, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!